Welcome back to our series on wheels and tires. Today we're going to talk about custom tire sizing. When it comes to putting non-factory sized tires on your vehicle, um, most of us are probably going to go with plus sizing. Um, plus sizing means that we're going to go with a larger tire package than what originally came on it. The reason we're probably going to want to do this is go ahead and fill up the wheel well a little more, as well as fill up the width of the wheel well a little better. Um, doing this is probably going to get us better performance, um, and it's probably going to make the car look a little better as well. Doing this, though, uh, can be an obstacle, and there's a couple things you want to consider um, before making a tire selection for your vehicle. One is the overall height of the tire that you want to go with. Uh, let's say we were, the car originally came with a 26-inch tall tire, um, and we want to go with a 28. That's fine, but you want to make sure you have enough room to do that. So what we'll do is we'll consider the, the wheel well dimensions and try to figure out what actually is going to fit in that wheel well assembly. The other thing is, is the, the overall width of the tire that you want to put on there. And that would be referred to as the section width when we were to look at the tire dimensionally. What you'll notice is that when tires are listed, they list a tread width and a section width, and they're very easy to get confused. We want to avoid using the tread width because that's just a contact patch that's going to touch the ground. The section width is actually the overall width of the tire. The thing about section width is, is it can be dictated also by the width of the wheel being used. The wider the wheel width, wheel width gets means the shorter or the narrower the section width is going to get. Whereas the narrower the wheel gets, the more section width you're going to get because the tire is actually going to bulge out more. Now all this works on early model vehicles pretty easily, but for you guys that have late model vehicles that have ABS systems on it, uh, there could be some obstacles with doing this. The reason is, is you're going to have a couple, a couple issues possibly pop up. One is if you go with staggered tire sizing, meaning big rears, smaller fronts, what can happen is, is at highway speeds if you have an ABS system on your vehicle that the tire speeds could be so different front to rear that it could actually make the brake system engage the ABS system at highway speeds and cause a problem for you. We don't want that to happen, so you may want to consider that before making this decision for that type of vehicle. The other thing is, is that if your vehicle is operated off of wheel sensors or wheel speed sensors, this could be a problem as well if you go with a different tire size and it can knock off your speedometer greatly. The good thing is, is the speedometer issues usually are easily fixed with a computer programmer. Keep an eye out for other wheel and tire videos. Thanks for watching.